I want to know what have you learned the hard way in the course of building your business? <laughs> Start with you, Mark. Oh. <laughs> that could be a long story. Um, I, I think um, I think probably learned the hard way is, is just choosing your partners wisely around the world because you're not there to oversee their operation as closely. Uh, and uh, you just really have to be careful and make sure that, that who you're getting into bed with is, is who you want to be there with for a long time. So, Can, do you want to share an example of how you learned that? Uh, oh boy. Um, well, I, yeah. I mean, I guess I guess um, in our in our excitement originally to to expand um, around the world, I think we just didn't vet some of our, our partners as well as we we could have. Um, so. We ended up, you know, having an opportunity to go into Eastern Europe, and uh, you know, we're sort of sold that there was great opportunity in, in Eastern Europe, and, and I think there probably is with the right partners. Um, we didn't find, you know, the right partner, and so we invested a lot into into the market and the development of it, and, and it just didn't go anywhere. And um, so that's that's a learning experience for yeah, sure. For sure, Michelle, what have you learned the hard way? Wow, everything. <laughs> um, wow, there, there's, there's so many things. I'm trying to think of a relevant example here. Um, I think the biggest lesson that I took from all of this is that at times I forgot to trust my instincts and my gut and went to, you know, look at ways that other companies do business and try to emulate that. And that's when we had our worst years and uh, you know, hired consultants, and consultants are great, I'm one. Uh, <laughs> but um, really understanding your own business and your own value and, and not doubting yourself. And because and, we had an example, we, we started the business, it grew really, really quickly, really fast. And, and then I was in what I thought was over my head and I wanted to do it right. I wanted to do it properly. I knew translations, I knew law, I knew political science, but I really didn't know the first thing about business. So I started reading all these books and, and talking to a bunch of people and I realized, oh, okay, now I need to do this and now I need to do this and now I need to do this. And, and when we looked back and got all our values and I learned more, I realized we'd been doing all these things uh, all along. So, and it cost us a lot of money to learn that lesson. So yeah, that would probably be my story. Rob, what have you learned the hard way? Um, okay, well, I think it goes without saying that if I actually had worked for somebody other than myself, that I would have been fired <laughs> 127 <laughs> times over the years. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, 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 to echo what Michelle was saying, and maybe take it just a little bit different direction, um, learning or the, 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 the change to, to and it, it, to get out of the business and to work on the business versus in the business was definitely the most difficult thing we ever did. Now, what I had to do uh, to do that was um, learn one thing, which was 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 uh, your people. Your people were what was the answer, um, and that's where the challenge comes in Edmonton. Is that you know, the g good people is the most important thing. And someone told me once that. Your people are your best asset, and I say no, they're not your best asset. Um, and this actually comes from a, a you know book, but uh, um, top performer, top performing people are your best asset. Everyone else costs you money. So the reality to learn that and to go through that, and then to take those people and to create an environment where you're not uh, poisoning itself. Um, and what I mean by that is, is you get three good people and then you hire the wrong person. We call them A players, B players, C players, whatever you want to call them. Um, you bring a C player into an A player market, you bring the A players down to a C player, you're left with not so good of people anymore. So, so I think the, the hardest thing was to learn how to, to take that, bring in the right people, put your, you know, your, your trust in them, but then to really lead them. And to lead those people was the biggest challenge, but also the one thing that we had to overcome to be able to work on the business versus in the business, because leading people is on your business. Yeah. Um, and it was a, a very big shift for us. Um, it was a, it, it, I, I will say it probably will never go away, um, but it, it's also one of the things that we look back saying it was the best investment we ever made. That's so really, to coin it, creating leaders. 
was the, was the biggest challenge.